with head baseball coach Zach Johnston. Uh, coach, thanks for your time today. You know, you got a day off here with uh, Mother Nature uh, taking care of itself, but uh, uh, just kind of wanted to uh, kind of at that, you know, just over the halfway point uh, this season, kind of talk about some of the season highlights so far, preview the rest of the schedule. Uh, first, give us, uh, kind of bring us up to speed on kind of the status of the team, uh, you know, after you did the spring trip, came back and kind of hit conference play pretty hard. Uh, kind of bring us up to speed here on where the team's been at um, since that spring trip. Spring trip went well. Uh, you know, we went five and one down there. Uh, we beat a very, very good southeastern team. They're number three in the nation right now. Um, so spring trip went well. Five and one came back, and uh, we knew we were going to have to face a tough conference opponent right away. Uh, they were number one. We were number two at the time in Northwestern Ohio. Uh, first game, they, you know, long road trip, whatever it may be, we just weren't ready. Blame myself for that, but uh, they took it to us first game. Second game we had, and unfortunately we uh, top of the eighth got away from us. Uh, they took the lead and, and didn't give it up. So two tough losses. Um, but again, in baseball you're playing against the opponent. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Uh, it doesn't matter what they've done in the past. It doesn't matter who really they are, who they have on the mound. You're playing against the game. So. Uh, we learn from our losses, we learn from our mistakes, and, and we move on. Baseball is a game of failure, so you have to keep the positivity, you have to learn from those things, and, and just keep looking you know, towards that next pitch, the next at bat, uh, next time on the mound, whatever it may be. And we went on an eight game winning streak, we're currently on that eight game winning streak. Uh, you know, we got a couple conference sweeps in there, and then a non-conference sweep. Um, so, you know, we're playing good baseball. We got a real tough opponent this weekend though. Uh, we know they're going to come in hungry for us. Madonna series, is a, it, it's a rival for us, so it's always a, it's always a dog fight. Um, but we're ready. Again, it doesn't matter who they are, though. We're playing against the game, so we'll come out and play Concordia baseball, and we should take care of business. Uh, one of the things that's been kind of fun to see from a fan perspective is the the versatility in the lineup, the depth, and then also, you know, most recently with the number of different starters you've called on, a lot of a lot of people responding, a lot of players responding when their number's called. Uh, talk about that, what that means to the to the program, what that means for each other, you know, supporting each other, being good teammates, um, and kind of that next play, next man up mentality that uh, that you guys, um, you know, do well. We do have a lot of depth, uh, a lot of good ball players, a lot of guys that uh, also know what their role is. Sometimes their role gets expanded, sometimes it's decreased, um, but they know that it's in the best interest for the team. Um, at the end of the day, I, t I tell each and every one of these guys, you have to force me not to take you from the line. And if you're not doing that, somebody else is going to try and do that. Um, but the great thing about our team is that doesn't that doesn't create animosity amongst the guys. Uh, they're, they're brothers at the end of the day. They're brothers. They root for one another. Uh, they care about one another, and they're going to have each other's backs no matter what. So the depth has just made us better. It's just made us better from top to bottom. Um, you know, the guys are pushing each other, making each other the best ball players they can be. Um, it is great to see, you know, when a different guy, his number's called and, and he steps up and, and does great things. And, and it's even greater to see that uh, his brothers behind him are just as excited as he is. So uh, we do have a lot of depth. It have continued to be a strength of ours. Uh, you know, we, had, we did suffer a couple of injuries as of late. Uh, guys are starting to get healthy again, though, thankfully. But uh, the depth definitely helped with that as well. We're a 30 and 7 ball club. Uh, we're finally, you know, receiving some votes nationally, um, but the job is not done. You know, we, we still have 17 games in front of us, um, big conference series, multiple big conference series in front of us, and you know, in order to stay nationally ranked and a, a national contender, um, we've got to take every game like a playoff game, and that's how we're going to go out and play playoff baseball. Um, we're playing against the game, not the opponent, and, and we'll go from there. You mentioned uh, recent success, current eight game win streak, uh, 30 and seven record overall. It's the uh, second time in three years you guys reached that, that 30 win mark. Um, and then the team for the first time um, this season and, and in school history has uh, you know, cracked the top 25 poll as far as uh, receiving votes. Um, talk about what that means for you, for the team, and uh, you know, ways to continue to, uh, to improve upon that as well. It's exciting for the guys, you know, uh, making history is always something that uh, you kind of dream about in one way or another, and it's, it's an exciting time for them to kind of embrace and uh, what kind of ball club they really are. They believe in themselves, they believe they, they should be there, but at the end of the day, that's out of our control, um, and we got to keep playing Concordia baseball. 
Um, but, uh, you know, winning 31 games last year, setting the school record was uh, a great accomplishment. The guys were very proud of that, and we're only two wins away from that, uh, breaking that record this year. And, but that's not what we're looking for. I mean, we're going we're gonna to keep moving forward and keep hopefully making history. Um, at the end of the day, it, it just grows the excitement for Concordia Baseball. It keeps everybody on board, and, and it's, it's, it's exciting to see our, our – you know, when I get text messages from our alumni, guys that I, I played with, guys before my time, uh, emails, uh, you know, responding to the social media stuff, uh, it makes me proud. Maybe I'm an alumni here. It makes me proud of where this program's going, and uh, I know they feel the same way. And I'm excited to have some of those alumni out this weekend. I know a few guys are coming, so uh, hopefully we'll have a good crowd for this big rival game, and we'll play some Concordia kind of baseball for you, some playoff baseball, and hopefully keep rolling. Good. Obviously, uh, you know, big weekend. Madonna, uh, two games Saturday, one game Sunday, and then you have a number of, uh, you know, basically conference seasons, uh, series against non-conference opponent against Bethel towards the end. Uh, but like you mentioned, it's you know, kind of playoff baseball the rest of the year. Uh, conference seasons, you know, hopefully positioning, you know, yourselves for uh, conference title and and, and beyond. Um, talk about the conference, you know, series this weekend. Uh, what can we expect to see from from Concordia baseball and from from that series? Uh, yeah, every series is important uh, from here on out. Uh, like I said, it is going to be playoff baseball. Um, again, the, the Madonna series is always a special one. It, it has been since I've been here. Um, it, it's a big rival for us. So, um, but by no means is this series bigger than our next series against Lords. Uh, each game is going to be playoff baseball. It's that simple. The guys know it. It's instilled in them and we're going to take a one pitch at a time. We uh, asked Jacob kind of uh, why fans should come out, why Cardinal Crazies should come out on Saturday. Let's go ahead and hear it you know, from the head coach. If uh, you had, hadn't had a chance to, to get out to the baseball field yet this year, what can we expect to see from, from the team? Why, why should uh, some Cardinal Crazies come out this weekend? Uh, you'll see a lot of energy from, from the team. Um, it's, uh, baseball is a game of failure. So, you got to stay upbeat, and, and truthfully, I, I hope I see as many of you out there as I possibly can. Um, why? Because we, you're just as important to our team as each and every one of our players. Um, we, we love having the support. Um, it's, it's nice having people root for us. It just gives us that much more energy and to provide for you on the field. Um, I mean, we have some very talented ball players um, that will be exciting to watch, but at the end of the day, uh, to help us keep rolling, every home series is – it's going to be that much easier with as many of you out there as we possibly can get. So please come on out. Good. We're looking forward to it, Coach. Again, Saturday, uh, two games, doubleheader starting um, at 1 o'clock, first pitch uh, against Madonna, and then a nine-inning game on, uh, on Sunday. So thanks for your time today, Coach. Good luck uh, this weekend, obviously, uh, the rest of the season. Head baseball coach, Zach Johnston. Thank you.